Jack begins his plans in Batman White Knight issue 2. Appearing before a field courtroom, Jack Napier says that the Joker persona he once inhabited was all a lie. A lie that the police and Batman kept going so they could use him as an excuse to get more money from Gotham by saying that they are treating him. Jack goes on to say that every single Gothamite is a victim of the gatekeepers of Gotham thanks to them designing a world where vigilantism has been normalized. The news can't get enough of Jack's speech, showing that people of Gotham are actually now believing in him and the trust in the GCPD and in the government begin to fall. But many people still think this might be part of a larger plan by Joker. Going home, Jack meets with Harley Quinn, who doesn't like Jack's normal face. Jack gets Harley to sit down for a moment, allowing him to apologize for his mistreatment of her in the past. Giving her an engagement ring, Jack says that he wants to give her the version of himself that Harley has always wanted. Harley is angered that Jack would do this, ordering him to put on his makeup and help her rob something. Harley is suddenly attacked by the real Harleen Quinzel, who tells her to leave Jack alone. Elsewhere, Victor Freeze and Bruce Wayne begin the testing of a new serum that will cure Victor of his affliction. The test rats prove to be a success, and Victor forces Bruce to give him the same serum, which also works. Only thanks to Victor being frozen in his 30-year-old body, his body now ages up 50 years, catching up to the present and turning him into a weak 80-year-old man. Barbara discovers that the mice also died of old age, so they cannot use the same serum on Nora Freeze, as they don't know if she will be able to survive it. Elsewhere, Jack asks how he never noticed another Harley taking the original Harley's place, which Harleen simply states that he was a crazy narcissist. Jack reveals that the Joker is still inside of him and desperately wants out and for Jack to lose. Jack asks what made Harley leave him in the first place. Harleen says that it was Joker's growing infatuation with Batman that made her leave, and Joker would obsess with fighting the Dark Knight and not even bother to acknowledge her. The linchpin came when Harleen discovered the Joker had kidnapped Jason Todd and was planning on murdering him to gain Batman's attention. Harleen never found out what happened to Jason, but the Joker was taken back to Arkham. Jack tells Harleen that they need to save Gotham, and to do so, they will lead a rebellion against Batman by villainizing him and showing the people for the real damage he causes to the city. Later on, Bruce attends a charity gala where he donates one of his Aston Martins. As Bruce makes his way around the party, news breaks that Jack and Harleen are donating all of the money they won in the court case against them to build the first library in Blackport, saying that the people of Gotham gave them their freedom and they deserve something in return. The news sends Bruce into a rage, hitting a guest after learning that they are profiting from Batman's war on crime through real estate sales. Down in Blackport, Jack and Harleen meet with the various villains of Gotham, telling them that they need to pull their resources and talents to finally stop the Batman and the GCPD. But none want Jack as their leader. Putting on Mad Hatter's mind control band, it is revealed Jack used the hat previously on Clayface, making him turn to dust and infect the alcohol he has served at the meeting, meaning all the villains just drank a mind controlled Clayface, leading them to be controlled by Jack's new hat, giving Jack his army to rebel against the Batman with. Batman White Knight issue 2 put a twist on the old good versus evil story by turning them on their heads and reversing who is good and who is bad. The look into Joker's past and his destructive life and its effects on Harley Quinn was fantastic and also brought up the fact that Joker loves Batman more than anything, something which writers in the past have toyed with a bit. Jack's plan also is pretty fantastic and isn't your usual get the villains to fight each other and fight Batman and cause havoc and everything, showing Jack's heightened intelligence thanks to his mind being set straight or set straight for the most part. I am really interested to see how they plan on villainizing Batman more than they already have, seeing that this universe's Batman is pretty unstable already. I'm going to give this issue a 9.5 out of 10.
Hey everyone, thanks for watching my newest video. If you enjoyed it, you might also like to check out my other reviews here on my channel. You can also follow me on various social media platforms like Twitter by searching Matt underscore FOS or even join the Comic Multiverse Discord server and chat with other comic book fans including myself and Joel from Kate Joel. Want cheap comics and trades? Head over to the book depository with the link in the description to get the cheapest trades and comics around, along with free shipping anywhere in the world. Until next time, this has been Matt of the Fortress of Solitude. Thank you so much for watching.